This is John Paul Rye. I'm coming to you from Tokyo, Japan. I got a tweet here from Bree Warrior. Shout out to her, by the way. It's about how Musk's alleged all word case got dropped. Update on Musk's alleged all word case. Case has been dismissed without prejudice by plaintiff. So maybe not everyone even knew about this case, but somebody said that Elon Musk did this to them. Now there was speculation on who that was. And apparently, the obvious speculation could be Amanda or one of her friends. Here we see the court document. It's actually 21 pages, so I'm obviously not going to read the full thing here, but I will go over some main points and some opinions on it. To the court defendant and defendant's attorneys on records. Notice is hereby given that plaintiff's dismissal without prejudice was filed correctly. It is a civil, unlimited case and recovers damages over $25,000. Plaintiff checkbox 2 is correct despite this case is not settled yet and plaintiff hasn't received any damage compensation from defendant so far. Plaintiff wants to be clear that she dismissed this case without prejudice at this time for other reasons. All allegations in her complaint are true. They are not fabricated. Such truth can be testified in the court. Defendant made a lie to his attorneys that he never had any connection with plaintiff. It is clear that he tries to cover something. Many evidences show that defendant had a connection with plaintiff. Many evidence prove that plaintiff's complaint is true. Well, I mean, maybe you can prove there was a connection there, but can you actually prove the assault allegations? That's a different thing. But if Musk was connected, I'm not sure why he'd lie about it if there were probably pictures of them and things like that out there. Defendant does have a love affair relationship with plaintiff during his marriage. Their relationship was once discussed by many people and news was online about their dating. Plaintiff and her friends have kept such news too. Many plaintiff's friends know their relationship. To this day, plaintiff has been still suffering her disaster and damages listed in her complaint due to defendant's affair relationship with her, but defendant ignores it. I mean, that sure does sound like someone we know. Her friends are always involved in mischief and her plots and schemes, and they were in public together, so I gotta admit, it does sound familiar. Plaintiff doesn't want to discuss further because she has already filed dismissal without prejudice. Thanks for understanding from March 11th, 2022, from Jane Doe, of course. And Jesse Depp here says, I honestly don't think this blind is about this Jane Doe case. I read that complaint, and as much as I hate Musk, that complaint seemed bogus as hell. It was horribly written, it made no sense at all, I'm pretty sure she meant, it sounded like complete BS, that blind is more likely about JD's case. And horribly written is another symptom of being Amanda. Or I should say it's another attribute of Amanda. Juniper says, sounds like scamber to me. And Ranley down here says, figured it would be. Musk's a simp, but I don't believe he's an R word. And I agree. I agree, I agree. You know, he seems... Like, he has some faults, he's pretty simpy, kind of pathetic with women, I guess, in a way. But he doesn't seem aggressive. He doesn't seem like a hothead to me. He seems more awkward, if anything. So yeah, that's it. And obviously, the big elephant in this room is, well, the timing of when this was dropped is right before Virginia. Does that mean someone wants to make Elon Musk look like more of a credible witness that doesn't have something against him? That could be. Obviously, if Amanda put this out against him, it wouldn't make sense to drop it before the case to make him look more credible, I guess. But it could have been some other crazy, you know, we like to think, Amanda, Amanda, she did this. But he is an extremely rich man, and I'm sure that Amanda is not the only person in the world who tries things like this and tries to get money from rich men like Elon Musk, who are, like it was noted, a simp. Anyway, you guys, 
Let me know what you think down below. Doing shout outs, special thanks, things like that. If you're not subscribed here, consider it. If you don't subscribe, well, I guess it'll be sad, but I'll get over it. Make a new video, something like that. See you next time.